Hey everyone, today we're going to do a basic overview of SQL commands. There are primarily three types of SQL commands, or you could put them into three different buckets. You have the data definition language, the data manipulation language, and the data control language. At a very high level, the data definition language is used to define a database structure or table. The data manipulation language is used for managing data within a table object or within a database object. Finally, the data control language is used to grant or revoke privileges from a user. Now here are the basic DDL commands. You have the create, which is used to create a database or a table or any other objects such as views, uh, triggers, functions, all of that fun stuff which we'll cover at a later time. The alter command can be used to modify an existing database object such as a table. The drop command deletes an entire table or a view of a table or other objects within the database. Truncate not only removes all records or rows from within a table, but it also removes all of the allocated space from within that table for those records. The rename command is used to rename an existing database object, such as a view, a table, a stored procedure, etc. Moving on to some DML commands. The select statement is used to retrieve or read data, again, from a database table or, you know, even a view. The insert command um, is used to insert or write data into an existing table. The update command can be used to update existing records or existing data within a database table. The delete command is used to delete or remove records or rows from within a database table. As for the DCL commands, uh, we primarily have the grant and the revoke commands, which are used to uh, either provide access to the user using the grant command, you know, in the event that uh, for certain users we might only want to grant them read access and grant other users the ability to, you know, modify data or insert data or delete data. So all of that can be, you know, managed at a very granular level. In contrast, the revoke command can be used to then remove those privileges from a user. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, that was a very quick uh, overview of the basic SQL commands. Of course, we're going to dive deeper into this over time. I really hope you found this helpful. If so, please do give the video a like. Uh, comment below if you have any questions or suggestions or recommendations for you know the next video. And yeah, see you in the next one.